Sixth phase of the elections will get underway on the 24th, that's the coming Thursday. And as the valley goes to polls, there seems to be an open realignment of political positions by the two regional outfits. The NCP, the National Conference, in exclusive conversations with headlines today's uh, Mehbooma Mufti and Farooq Abdullah, have hinted at political positions quite contrary to the ones that their parties have been taking recently. The NDA government यहाँ के माहौल को समझ के एक तो पाकिस्तान के साथ दोस्ती का हाथ बढ़ाया और कश्मीर के इंटरनल डायमेंशन को अर्द्धस करने की कोशिश की और हमारी जो हीलिंग टच पॉलिसी थी जख्मों को मरहम करने की पॉलिसी उन्होंने भी उसको बेहतर तरीके से समझा The PDP is the main character which has done most of the damage to the people of JNK state. That this gun was introduced by, by no lesser person than Mufti Muhammad Sayyid himself. And now his daughter goes trumpeting all over the place. I can only say she's gone crazy. They're thoroughly exposed as far as people are concerned. But these were the positions a few days ago. Both the National Conference and the PDP seem to be engaging in a very apparent and open realignment ahead of polling in the valley. Headlines today caught up with senior leaders from both parties and this is what they had to say. He says that you have sold your soul to the BJP and Narendra Modi. Well, I think you recall it. It was Omar Abdullah with two-third majority here in JNK state and four member parliamentarians in his pocket that he, they, you know, they shoot, they, you know, kicked Safadin souls for voting against BJP. Then Umar Saab joined the BJP ministry. He was there. He continued to be there even after the autonomy resolution was rejected. He continued to be there when, you know, this uh, Gujarat incident happened. He did not resign at that point of time. In fact, Farooq Saab's party abstained from voting in support of the, you know, motion that was brought uh, against the communal rights that took place in Gujarat. Isn't there a contradiction in what your party is saying? Because the party slogan in these elections, in this campaign has been that a vote for PDP is a vote for Narendra Modi because the National Conference seems to believe that there's a tacit arrangement between the PDP and the BJP. So similarly, a vote for the National Conference will be a vote for the Congress Party or a vote against uh, the Congress Party will be a vote yeah, against National Conference as well? Our plan is a vote for Modi is for a communal party and a vote for the National Conference and Congress combined is for secularism for India's, what India depends on. Modi has the plans of completely dis distorting this diversity. It wants to put one religion in front of everybody else, and that is dangerous for this nation. We believe that India will not remain India if the policies of RSS are put up by Modi. Both the National Conference and the PDP have flirted with the BJP in the past. But now the two leading political parties from the valley are targeting each other over Narendra Modi. With Maharuk Inayat in Srinagar, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.